Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tyranny. In the last episode we finally left the bastard's wound, and we got Verse and Barrick to our, to our team now, and we have now returned to to Sentinel Stand, or right outside of Sentinel Stand, and as you can see there is some disfavored and unbroken soldier corpses lying around here, and we and we and we are now supposed to uh, fight our way through to the uh, uh, towards that uh, the, the 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 tornado tornado wall or wind wall what, whatever that, that that thing is so we can use our uh, what was it called steadfast insignia yeah that so, so we can use our steadfast insignia to uh, to help us to get through the wind wall yeah that's pretty much it so without further ado let's continue with the rest of the game so the so there should be more uh, enemies here now. Yeah, there we go. La uh, last time when, when we were here, uh, we had ki there was no there were no en enemies here. Oh, actually no, I think there were some pain here he here and there, but that's pretty much it. And we also looted everything, but now there's new enemies here and more and new loot to loot. So hmm, I wonder if if we can just uh, sneak past them. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, never mind. Never mind. Well, uh, these four should be busy by themselves. Now, let's try this bad boy. This was shield assault. Yeah, let's try that. Mm, did you have any new abilities or anything? It's been such a long time since last time I played and played you, played with you, Barrick. Well, you got this freezing grip. Coach the target's weapon in frost, causing attacks to deal additional frost damage and slow enemy movement speed. Well, okay, might as well add that. Oh, you already had it. Well, I guess I didn't notice. Okay, so... Attack this one, I guess, and you, verse my dear. Shoot a fire arrow to that. And you can... buff everyone. Right. Actually, come here. And... I just... Uh, just wait a little bit. Now burst from here. Good. Now armor for everyone. And well attack the iron walker here, I guess. And did I use yeah, I used the shield assault. Let's buff, buff our damage. You throw some pens. <laughs> Bastard. Hmm, where is he going now? Well, maybe maybe he's going to attack one of the unbroken. Well, that's fine by me. In the meanwhile, you go and deal with the Earthshaker there. He should be rather weak. Oh, never mind. And we... Let's try this. This is a new talent that we picked in the last episode. God damn it, we just... We got... Knocked down. Hmm. Ah, uh, you can keep continue attacking the Earth Shaker. And hmm. Yeah, keep so doing things. Do that. Of course you can. I should try something else. Take me if you can. Okay. Uh, you are in a bit of a trouble there. Switch places with this not one. A problem, boss. Except that you're petrified. Well, that's that's not good. Not good at all. Throw her... Uh, toss her up and see her. Oh, thank God that one... That talent. I forgot its name, but every time when, when we kill someone, uh, all of our allies nearby get, get healed. That's very handy. There we go, just in time. And then... Switch places with this one here. You got it. Whenever, whenever you can. Mm. How did he get healed? <laughs> yeah, she's in trouble. All right. Uh, I really hate how how the healing touches or restoring touches range is so damn short. Apologies. Uh, did you already already activate it? Okay, good. Then run, 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 run. Good, and she got healed too. Perfect. 
Damn, I'm so good. Mm. Arcane armor stalling and magic, magic defense. I don't think that's gonna help us too much here. And then you are, now you are in a bad spot. Uh, move away. <laughs> Barrack, could you? This is once per rest. Not don't really want to use that. Hmm. I guess I could do this. I will aid you. As for you, use a fire arrow on the, the earth shaker there. And you ignite your uh, weapon. Harsh words cause more harm. And you uh, freeze your weapon. Hmm. Who is? Who is close to die? And buff it again. Hmm. This this unbroken, I guess. Hmm. Skewer and barrack. You can focus on this one. Actually, I think I should be using uh, my axe instead. I should try something else. Okay, I'm uh, taking lots of damage. Heal me. Stun this. On it. And then uh, seal verse. She should kill this bronze army girl real, real soon. And you already? Did you? I guess you didn't do this. Can't move. <laughs> this weapon is entirely worthless. <laughs> Come on, kill someone. Uh, what's this guy's status? Uh, he's not that close to dying. Hmm. Well, let's do this. Immobilize and terrify them. What did this do again? Ah, silence. Okay. Uh, try to kill this one now, please. Don't forget that. There we go. And I'm I'm down. Where do you think you're going? Hmm. Now what? What now? This one is almost dead. So kill that. Not a problem, boss. Whenever you get up. There we go. Got some healing too. Then toss her a seal, just in case. And you... Knock this one down. As you command. I'd have it no other way. And you... Hmm... Switch places with this Iron Walker. And you buff verse. Buff first now. Fuck is wrong with my weapon. The weapon is fine. The Iron Walker's Iron Iron Walker's armor is just very high. Okay, uh, this guy is about to die. Try Good. Try a different weapon. Can't I hit anything? Okay, and now hmm, I want to heal verse. She yeah, she still has the seal though, so at least there's that. We got this, folks. We got this. Yeah, do that. Why not? Oh, I have to target it. None stand in our way. Good. Only two left. We got this, folks. Attack that. Earth shaker. Take me if you can. That's how it's done. And you'll parry. Attack, please. There we go. There we go. Will do. Did, did they drop anything? No, apparently not. There's some loot here, but nothing interesting though. Okay, this seems to be barricaded. Have to find a another way.
dying Skyblade. Ah, so she's alive? Yeah, she's alive. You! The Skyblade coughs a couple of times and clears her throat. We underestimated the forces of Kairos. A smile plays at the edge of her lips. You will too. Neither of you will remain here long. I hope you plead. She growls and her eyes roll back as she succumbs to her wounds. Well, that was... Productive. Oh, but... Hmm, didn't drop anything too good. Invisibility. Well, I guess I could give this give this to Verse. And let's give it to her straight away. That could actually become very useful for her. Now oh, we got two of them. I don't think we're gonna do much with that. Yeah, our inventory seems to be fine. Oh, I don't have any health potions. That that's not good. Not good at all. Let's take all our health potions here. Okay, take that and this. You got some potions. And you don't really need because you have your self heal. And why, why would I give you might? Take, well, take some potions after all. Uh, just take one for now. Yeah, I think... Hmm, yeah, just take that, whatever. See that? Yep, I noticed. Hmm. Maybe we could pa uh, sneak past them. They won't see me coming. Let's see. Yeah, I, I don't think we can. And never mind, we just might be able to do it. Oh, hey, look at that. We did it. I think this was our very first. Uh, I think this was our very first attempt to sneak past enemies, and it worked. Let's see, is there anything interesting here? Oh, there's some loot here. Okay. I, I don't need I don't need all of you to go there. So, what do we have here? Ah, uh, some food. Okay. And water. Nothing. Nothing interesting. Now, what's this? Looks like a simple pond to me. Hi. And these... these guys are not fighting. Hmm, Rumalan. Don't let these dogs cross the bridge. If the unbroken breed sentinel stand before we do, I'll have every one of you vermin flucked bloody while the great general watches. Iron guard Rumalan grimaces and worries, and worries her throat, raw from barking orders o o over the fury of the storm. An iron guard? The Iron Guard is at his favorite high command, an inner circle of com com commanders handpicked by Craven Ash for lifelong service, tactical brilliance or true dedication to their craft of personal combat. The Iron Guard act as Craven Ash's chief advisors when the Archon is when the Archon is present, and when he's absent, they speak with his direct authority. Even the youngest Iron Guard has years of training, and the fi finest iron and the finest iron the forge-bound mage smiths can create making these elite commanders nearly unrivaled on the field of battle. These, sin these, these senior leaders are expected to lead from the front of the phalanx. It's said that the Iron Guard fear only one thing, die in their beds instead of in battle. Well, they, they, sound like, they sound like badasses. I'm not reporting to Ash unless we take Sentinel stand, and that goes for everyone in my unit. We don't see Iron Heart and we don't see home until our mission is complete. She pumps her fist twice in the air, and her soldiers reflexively and mirror the gesture. Rally to that talking pillar of iron. Janos waves his weapon to direct the unbroken. She can't hold him out of stalwart back from uh, back from our uh, seat of power. Hmm, Janos, have we met him before? We might have. Well, anyway. Janos, your own leader has conscript has conscripted to the chorus. You should join him. Hmm. Oh yeah, we did conscript conscript this one unbroken leader and his uh, and his unit to the Scarlet Chorus. 
You don't normally see scouts barking orders to fellow soldiers. Now let's go with this. Janos, your own leader has conscripted to the chorus. You should join him. N never I would die before I took orders from the howling mob. Janos starts his attention between you and Rumalan. It may yet come to that, fool. She turns to you. Has the Scarlet Cor Chorus given you a name yet, traitor? Has the gang taken turns breaking you in, uh, wi breaking you in with their s sick in initiation rites? No matter. You'll be dead soon enough, and what remains of Stalwart will be under our control. Rumalan falls back behind the bridge with her troops. Okay, so she's running away, and she seem and they seem to have an. Forge bound with them. Okay. So we're fighting again, both both disfavored and unbroken. Okay. And I guess we're just gonna kill Janos for starters. You actually... These guys should be busy by themselves, at least for a while. You buff everyone. Let's kill Janos quickly here. Buff everyone's damage. Good, then... Uh, did you miss? I'm on it. Looks like you missed. God damn it. Well, whatever. Draw some pens. And. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, we can still use Stalwart Surge, even though we don't have it, have it equipped. I mean, I do have it as my secondary weapon, but we are not wielding it right now. We are wielding this Penumbra. Hmm, okay, good to know. Okay, this guy decided to join the fun, and these two disfavored are killing this one Skyblade here. That's entirely fine by me. Uh, freeze your weapon. I'd have it no other way. And Barak is gonna get a level very soon as well. Now focus on this bronze army girl. You stun him. And you buff Barrick. Uh, Verse, attack please. Knock this uh, Crescent Runner down. They got some of the lowest defenses, so you should be able to take him down rather fast. Heal Barrick. Okay, that Skyblade is down. Well, taunt that one. Fire arrow on this earth shaker there, I guess. You got it. Uh, no, I didn't tell you to go there. Keep continue attacking that one. Mm, okay, uh, I think we should give seal to Barrack. <laughs> Well struck. Well struck. Oh man. Uh, oh. Well, I could do this. Terrify them. Terrify these three. And can you heal him quickly? Can you skewer? Yes, you can. One down, good. Uh, verse, who is about to die? This one. But attack this one actually and knock, knock him prone. Can you? No, you are you are knocked down. But give Barrack the seal when you can. And where are we? And oh, we are knocked down as well. Stun this. You keep attacking this uh, unbroken. Oh, thank god, he got the heal just in time. I was about to get worried. Wait some places and kill him potentially. Pity you won't enjoy this as much as I do. Come on, kill him already. This isn't working. There we go. And not there. Burn him. Use that. And we knock him down. 
Oh, there's the Earth Shaker too. Well, we deal. We'll deal, deal him with him. We'll deal deal with him soon. Oh, my armor feels light. Uh huh. He level up. What are you talking about? Useless, my ass. And then just finish that. Tear your skull As you come out. There we go. Nice. Now, did they drop anything? Anything cool? What's that? Uh, frayed purple cloth. Oh, it's just, it's just trash. Okay. And, uh, one-handed and drone weapons. Skyplate. Oh, it's a javelin. Okay. But none of us use javelin. Will do. So, what is this now? Hmm. Several boulders are clustered underneath the edge of this cliff. With enough care, you may be able to scale the rocks down the dry river riverbed. Well, I guess we can climb down then. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Can't we, do that. We could get up there. Sorry, I well, can't. Let's go up. Let's uh, let's just ex explore this upper level first. Sentinel Stand Keep was once a proud, imposing structure. Now it stands as a mere shadow of its former glory. Mm -hmm. So many corpses and yet no loot. Okay. I think I already got one of these. Yeah. You can't tell if the recent battle here caused this, caused this, caused this destruction or if it has been this way for a while. English is hard sometimes, folks. Oh, and before we, before we forget, now what to give, what to give you? More accuracy would be nice. Yeah, let's give, give you more accuracy so you can actually hit stuff. And here, get a bonus armor, allows barrack to engage an additional enemy. Yeah, this is tank and uh, tanky stuff. Hmm. Deal damage to all enemies nearby. This damage inc increases for each enemy engaging barrack. Ah, oh, interesting. Well, let's let's give him that. Okay, now. I guess I guess we have to go down then. Then this way. More tallies to the. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's some. Oh, there's our friends are here. Jack Remedy. Yeah, I I I remember that name. It's just been such a long time since last time I saw it. Okay. Oh, so oh. <laughs> he act. She actually stepped into her own trap. I didn't know that was. I didn't didn't know that was a thing. Okay, so there's a blood chanter and a rack jack remedy. Oh yeah, I, I remember him now. He was the, he was he was the Scarlet Chorus gang gang leader, uh, to, uh, to whom the unbroken unbroken unit leader conscripted to. Okay. Okay, so uh. First, go here. Somewhere. Ah, oh, they're all coming for us now. Wonderful. Did you use? Yes, you used that. Then, knock that one prone. Who has weakest hmm, armor 13? Armor 5. Yeah, okay. So let's focus on the sky plate and kill that one first. And then you come here. Not a problem. And buff our armor. Buff. And freeze your weapon. Do and verse, go and kill the sky plate. We focus on this one. Uh -huh. And you focus on this and this tank here. I don't think anyone really needs a seal right now. 
Let's just buff Barry. Nice. And that one died. Good. And Jack Remedy came to help us out. Nice. And then fight this guy played here. You got it. Damn. That, man, that Skyclave really wants Landry dead, and I can't blame, blame her. Healers can be annoying. But this this dealer has pens. And she's dead. Consider it done. I would love to try to save. Mm, save this blood chanter here. Uh, Verse, go on, uh, help you him out. <laughs> He's near death, that's not good. Do I have any. Well, mm, oh, she's focusing on us now. Okay. <laughs> mm, I might want to give the seal to uh, Verse now. I wonder, can I heal this blood chander here? He is our ally after all. No, I can't. Shame. Shame for him. I'm afraid. Okay, then finish. Finish that, and now. Oh my god, the blood chander is about to die. Uh, taunt him. Stun him. Right. Knock him down. This weapon is entirely worthless. Yeah, go and taunt him. Throw pens. I will aim Anything. Come and face my iron. There we go. We saved the blood chanter, dude. I should try something else. Heal her. Barry keeps losing a bit too much health. But there we go. Never mind, we are fine. Perfect timing. You're becoming an asset to my cause. Try not to be too indispensable, or I won't let any other gang have you. His lips part in dis disconcerting smile. Well, you're welcome, by the way. May the chorus sing of our bloodshed. Yeah, I like that. I'm certain they will. The voice of Nerad better be watching us from one of his thousand eyes. Because the blow we strike will be remembered. You lead the charge. We will climb the wall and, and, and take out the drawbridge winch. Okay. So who? You and this one blood chanter who... Well, he was about he was about to die there earlier. Where are the unbroken... The, the unbroken we conscripted. This is two-handed. Is this better than what Barrick is? Slightly better. So, what, ab what about this hammer? Well, let's take that. Anything here? Mm, one-handed maze. Hmm. It would increase our damage nicely, but now nah, I don't really want that for the damage. What do we lose? Recovery and accuracy. Hmm. Got it. Oh, Titan's hoof, one-handed. Hmm. It would increase our damage quite nicely, but let's see what is, what, what is this one about? Hmm. Stagger it on weapon, crit, interrupt, okay, potency 2, plus 2 might. This hammer is wrapped in hide and made of crude materials, neither of which reduce its intimidating aspect. A direct hit would shatter more than just one of uh, one's focus on their task at hand. Okay, so if we want to use this to interrupt people, this would be very nice. Uh, where did it go? Hmm, here. Yeah. Okay, so... What did this do again? Plus 10 parry for each engaging enemy. That's pretty damn nice. And this... 
I like I like this stalwart search ability because it's an AOE stun. It's very powerful and does once per rest ability. So I kind of want to keep that. Let's see what this looks like anyway. Eh, it's nothing amazing really. Could verse use this? Hmm. We would lose lots of accuracy if we gave this to her. Increase our damage, an armor penetration which is nice, but minus 21 accuracy is pretty big goddamn deal. Not sure if I want to give this to her. Hmm. Do I have anyone else who could use this? Well, if Barak wasn't using two uh, two handed weapons, this this would be very good for him. Maybe I should maybe I should give this to him after all. And we also got this shield, so there you go, Barak. A secondary tank if need tank if needed. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Sorry, I so, can't. Oh, there's some mo more loot here. Somewhere. Ah, oh, here. Ah, just a broken shield. So can we get here? Can't do that. No? Ah, oh, okay. Can't do that. So where do we go from here? I assume that we have to climb over this wall. Mm, no. Oh wait, I'll we have to go here. Because, uh, because they did because they did say that they are going to lower the bridge. Well, only one way to find out. So let's go there. There we go. You signal uh, you signal ahead that the coast is clear. An arrow flies from the parapet and cuts straight through the taut rope holding the draw bridge up. Nice shot. I bet Verse could have done Furious. that too. Hmm. Attend to Manet, making making a stand. You should set use a stack fast insignia to disrupt the rust storm. Yeah, yeah. But can I get there? Hmm. Oh, I have to go that way. Okay. Nothing I can't handle. Hmm. Purifying. Immunity to poisoned. I think I have one of these already. But it's good, good to find one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Romalan is over there. Is oh shit! Didn't want to start the fight now. God damn it! Okay. I, I, I wanted to save there, but hmm, let's just go with this. To the front. Let's uh, focus on that Earth Shaker. And I. Rumalan is there. Maybe I should engage Rumalan. Oh, and the game is a bit too fast my for my taste now. Okay, so... Try to attack this Forgebound Apprentice. And you... Just I do. Okay, so let's buff everyone's damage. Let's kill that Apprentice real fast. Varric is... Getting focused on, give him a, give him the seal. Can you use this on? Hmm. I don't want to. I don't want to move verse into the into the middle of all of that shit. Knock the earth shaker prone. I'll take care. Consider it done. Ah, didn't you give him the damn seal? And I am over all the way over there. Focus on Rumala. Oh, they are they are attacking too. Nice. Okay. And I also got a stalwart surge in and uh, in case in, uh, things really really start to go south. Uh, ignite your weapon in flames. And Barrick should would have to be somewhere there in the middle of all of that. And then we could use this. What are these two again? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, you should on that one. You can do. 
Okay, Rumala is, is focusing on Barak. Heal him. Mm. Should I terrify all of these enemies here? Yeah, let's do that. Damn thing couldn't pierce claw. And try to get Rumala's attention. Uh, I don't use that yet. Drink up. In cap incapacitated. Well, that's not good. Plus 112 health. So we as so we get so we get in overhealed. How does that work? I wonder. Well, drink it. Whenever you can. Uh, is there anything else that I could do? Yeah, use that to stun Rumalan and verse. Fire arrow on that. Right. My armor is dented. Let me repair. Oh shit! He's drink it. Drink it. Oh thank fucking god. Okay. Draw pens at that. Kill someone. Mm, switch places with the. Hmm. Actually, switch places with Rumalan here. Pay attention, kids. You might learn something. Come on. Hmm. It's got it's got a bit a bit of a chaos, and it's hard for me to see what's going on because there's this uh, broken gate in the way. At least, at least, at least there's this crack there in the middle. That's kind of convenient. Okay. Hmm. I still want Barrett to go somewhere around there. Now, let's use it now. This is... Yeah, it has, it has, it, it has a cooldown and it's not war once per encounter or rest. Okay, good. And we... Stun Humalan. And verse could use a seal. Uh, p -p 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 Should we try? Hmm. Scouts use potion of, in of invisibility to move unseen, breaking the effect if the time passes or they take any action. Well, let's try that and see how it works. So are we invisible now? Invisible. Okay, so the enemies do not see us. This invisibility effect breaks though when we take make make an action. And there's only three enemies left, by the way. So who do we want to attack? Attack uh, this old bound here. Uh, trust him or her, sorry. Count on it. Take that. Uh, heal verse. For the glory of Kairos! If I oh, I'm not doing so hot right now. Uh, do I have a seal? No, I don't. Use that on a Rumalon. Try to kill the old bound. I would they'd be feeling that one. <laughs> mm. Here's that. Uh, fire arrow on her. Maybe she dies. There we go. Didn't even need to use it. And now everything else should be a piece of cake. Oh shit. Uh, oh. I don't want him to get wounded. Seal yourself. I will aid you. <laughs> oh shit, I'm wounded. Well, oh, fuck. Well, guess we have to rest after right. this. <laughs> Just use this. Go full ham. We're gonna rest after this anyway. Ah, never mind. That's cool. Ah! 
There we go. Hmm. Titan's Blade. Two-handed weapon. Maybe something for Beric. Hmm. Plus two might. This sizable blade would serve its function more appropriately as a battering ram. Titan's Blade ha has achieved such an unwieldy size that, that, most, that, most, that most would consider it a blunt object. Any damage from this imposing blade comes from the weight of its wing and a little help from gravity. Not, it, not its keen edge. I guess we'll give this to Beric. Okay, so just a moment, moment to remedy. I'm gonna go and Interesting. pick up some loot. Found something. Oh, <sighs> seeing an awful lot of red. God damn it! Didn't expect to have. Oh my god, there's lots of ma uh, masterwork weapons here. Jesus. The sizable, if primitive, mace is weighted to weighted to deliver skull-shattering blows. Yeah, I can imagine. Plus one might. Jesus. Okay, and what do we have here? My stalwart had surrendered years ago. Such needless carnage. And a scroll. Okay. A trial of archons. What is this about? Uh, this favorite soldier wanted the steadfast insignia, an artifact lost in the old walls. They sent a civilian. Oh, okay, I know this one. Hmm. Jack Remedy was conscripted from the Unbroken when his forces were forbidden from the region. Oh, the oh, I, I didn't know that the Scarlet Corps were forbidden from the region. The list, the list of evidence against the voice of Nerad is just, is just uh, growing and growing. It's not, it's not as big. It's about, it's about twice as big as Craven Ash's list. You know what? You know, Voice of Nerad. I'm really trying my best to find to find any to find any dirt uh, ab uh, about Graven Ash's past, but you're not making my job very easy here. Hmm. An abandoned well with a rusted gear wheel. Hmm. Well, I don't know why we want to, why, why why we would want to do this, but let's do it anyway. So, what happens? I don't know. By the way, where are the the conscripted un unbroken that I that I, that I managed to get get for you, uh, remedy? Where are they? Why are they not helping here? Why do we have only one single blood chanter here? Well, I guess we can ask him now. Never mind. The outer walls are secured, but this wall of dust and metal isn't going anywhere. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. Just a moment. First, we're gonna rest real quick. Okay, now let's get rid of this wall, this wind wall. A maelstrom of rust and dirt swirls at and swirls at deadly speed before you. Getting any closer from where you currently stand would mean certain death. Let's so let's use a steadfast insignia. The wind wall parts as you hold the steadfast insignia aloft. Dust and debris swirl around a cone-shaped absence projected before you, which stretches into a tunnel of breathable air. The insignia's jewel begin to glow brightly, as if invigorated by this parting of the winds. Whatever dormant state the artifact occupied, it is now awake and full of new potential, should you desire to use it. Ah. So... Enter Sentinel stand in her keep. Yes, we'll do that, but first... Okay, where is the... You are quite set fast in Signia. Yes, oh, there it is. So what What does this do now? Hmm, plus three resolve. Grant nearby allies resolve and an increased resistance to being knocked prone or pushed back. This effect scale with set fast in Signia's renown. Mm -hmm. Fashioned in the likeness of a stalwart battle standard, this emblem was worn by every first regent since the realm was carved from the Stone of the Tears. Originally nothing more than an officer's finery, the, the steadfast insignia swelled in the popularity as those who wore it earned their deserving titles as war heroes. The insignia developed a reputation as the architect of victory over time, and the secret of success on the battlefield. 
As its recognition grew, the armies of Stalwart learned to rise up against any odds when the insignia was present, a streak that held, held with admirable consistency until the insignia was lost amid Stalwart's war against the Northern Empire. Alright. So. Resolve. What did, what did Resolve do again exactly? Sorry, I kind, kind of forgot. But anyway, I guess we could give it to Barrack. This will serve me well. Alright. So, to the inner keep we go. Curious how that artifact left the path open behind us. Others are likely to follow in our footprints. Most likely, yeah, but don't worry. Remedy and his one single blood gender is uh, secu securing our backs. So we got some re so we got some recent sky blades, so they are basically like an assassin. They actually kinda look like ninjas. So dealing with them should not be that hard. The walls of this keep have been beaten and chipped away by both the storm and the bitter clash between the disfavored and the unbroken. And there's a piece of rope there as well, so we could climb up to the walls. But we first have to get inside there. Can it be? A figure approaches through the storm. Oh, sorry. Can it be? A figure approaches from, um, through the storm. I thought, I thought it was the narrator text there for a moment. The Regent Sky Blade seems ready to approach and welcome you. Dawn in realization comes to her expression as she hoists up her weapon in a stance of challenge. Announce yourself, invader. We haven't sat in the eye of the storm this long, long to, be to become slaves of Kairos. Take us to Strader's heroine. Barrack advances on the guard with a menacing air. I don't want to hear any more of your petty threats or how m much you love your country. Del deliver us the serpent at the heart of this nest. Whoa there, big boy. I just watched the storm all day. Stratus is behind the walls. <laughs> okay, <laughs> didn't take much to convince them. She glances in your direction with wonder. The, the insignia. The sentry lets out a startled yell. Some... Someone bearing the regent's insignia comes this way. She wants to make to make you out in the storm. Why have you come, stranger? Athletics roar over the volume of the storm. <laughs> I kind of like that. We just don't an we don't answer her. We just roar. I'm here for Ash's daughter. Surrender her into my custody or perish. I'm here to kill the regent, but you'll do for a start. The wind wall is open. I suggest you leave with your lives or join the mound of bodies I left in my wake. Hmm. Damn it, I kind of like this. Just roll over the storm. I just kind of want to see their reactions. Hmm. Ah, fuck it. Let's go with Roar. The Skyblade's weapons wavers in her hands and her face turns an unhealthy pallor. She seems equally poised to drop it and run or make a careless swing to open some distance between you two. She furrows her brow and regains her bearing advancing on you. You think I haven't screamed into the storm before? That my desperation to see home again hasn't ripped my throat when I, when I least suspect it? You think I haven't breathed in my wake in rust and debris and that my throat isn't as raw, as raw and parched as yours? Then come at me and we'll see who ro roars the loudest. Well, god damn it! I, I, I was hoping that they would run away. Maybe, maybe I should have picked the other option. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's go. Okay, okay. So this one has the toughest armor. So Barrack, go and uh, focus on that. We attack this. You do that, and you mm, just throw some pens for now. Do that and. Buff our armor. Not a problem, boss. It's only three of them. This is a piece of cake. My famous last words. There we go. I don't even need to do anything right now. Wait, I did that? Nice! There. And we just got a broken helmet. I'm carrying oh. enough as it is. Hmm. Mm hmm. We could just oh wait. Can we even go there? No, we can't. Okay. I think there was another one here somewhere. Oh, but there's some loot. I'll go and pick that one up. 
I'm okay. carrying enough as it is. Ah, stop complaining, Beric. There must be more than just two. Hmm? Oh, okay, they know this was... Did I... Did I hear roaring a minute ago? The sentry trembles with his weapon drawn. I can only guess that that's my countryman's score on your boots, invader. I warn you that I'm ready to put up a better fight, and your fragile shrieks won't unnerve me. Out of my way, peon. No amount of stalwart rats can keep me keep me from wrapping my hands around the regent's troth. Ah, you really are on fire right now, Beric. You protect Herodin after all this time. How sad. You look you look presentable after a year a year in isolation. Nah, we just glare silently. You came all this way just to glare at me? Well, I don't really care about you, so. The sky Skyblade raises his weapon. Stop looking at me like that! Stop it! Stop it! Okay, we triggered him. Shaken, he begins to advance with his weapon drawn. A voice bellows from the other side of the portal is Stay your weapons and raise the gate. I would speak with our guest. Oh, is it the. the. Uh, regent? He looks over his shoulder and frowns. Step forward and present yourself then. Keep a respectful tongue and you won't have any trouble. Okay, I don't quite like how Verse is all the way there and we are here. By the way, why are we looking <laughs> uh, looking away from Stratos Herodin? Well, whatever. Stalwart's ruler looks at you with a mixture of caution and amazement. His gaze lingers on the steadfast insignia. That explains how you were able to pierce the winds. But why have you come? Not to liberate an enemy, I think. He squints. The long isolation has taken its toll, but we aren't deaf to news of the outside world. I think I recognize a fate bundle when I see one, so logic follows that you are the keeper of Vendrian's well. Mm hmm, indeed we are. Herodin! Barrick pounds his fist together hard enough to shake the earth. Damn. Come out and face us, coward! You have touched this reckoning long enough. The regent blinks. Do I know you? Your face, what little I can make of it, eludes me. He sniffs and returns his attention to you. Your friend here seems seems a mite unstable for emissary work. Well, we didn't, well, we didn't come here to do dip, dip, diplomacy, so he's perfect. You are not wrong. I would say he's unstable for any kind of work. Oh, verse. I don't think that I don't think that 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 now's the time to to talk about Barrack, but whatever. We have survived in the Overlord's prison for over a year. I live on, and so the region's plotline endures. Even the disfavored couldn't breach Kairos's wind wall when the edict crashed upon our heads. Though I'm less certain how you managed. He regards you with a hint of resignation. You didn't travel this far to deliver terms of surrender, did you? Indeed, we didn't. This storm is destroying your people. Surely you must see the madness in prolonging the inevitable. I am Kairos' agent and you will surrender your disfavored prisoners to me. I'm here for the daughter of Graven Ash. I was hoping to talk and talk some sense into you first. I came here for the I came I came for the clear skies, but it seems I was misinformed. Yeah, we are here for the daughter of Graven Ash. Loyalty with Barrick. Something tells me that Barrick is not going to like what I'm what I'm going where I'm going to take Amelia. You will return her to us, fiend, alive and unharmed, or so help me the people of Stalwart won't even recognize your remains. His eyes narrow. While I live, this is the safest fortress in all in all the tiers. Amelia is in better hands than anywhere else on Teratus. As your prisoner, depraved monster. Release her now or perish by my hand. If you have come to liberate her, I assure you the effort has been wasted. She isn't going anywhere. The voice of Nerad has offered to keep her safe at Cacophony. We will see about that, Regent. The choice is yours. Hmm. Yeah, Barak is not gonna like this, but screw him. The voice of Nerad has offered to keep her safe at Cacophony. I can think of no more dangerous place in all the tiers than the company of that dangerous, of, sorry, not dangerous, cancrenous villain. That's a whole new word again to me. 
In, even if I had Graven Ash himself in, in my custody, I would not hand over him to the Archon of Secrets for fear of growing his madness. Through powers you can't begin to understand, the voice of Nerad steals the minds and knowledge of his victims. You know this happened often during the campaign against the Tears. What he gains from this ability beyond his apparent madness is anyone's guess. You know better than to ask him about it directly. I'm not ignorant of my part in this equation. The Aetis can only be ended with the blood of the last regent, just as Kairos decreed. He nods, and in case you forgot, Kairos drafted the Edict of Storms to punish the defenders of Stalwart for hiding behind the walls of their keep. The wording of the Edict specifies that the death of Stalwart's ruling family will end the storm. To this day, the locals are welcome and encouraged to assassinate their former lure, ruler. I must warn you, I haven't survived this long only to be cut down by Kairos' lapdog. I endured the war, the disfavored suicide march, and the long isolation of this storm. I won't make it easy. What was that about a dis disfavored suicide march? The, su the voice of Nerad has no desire to end the edict, surrender and live. You could have ended this edict long ago. What have you gained from this long stalemate beyond the hatred of your people? Be reasonable, Herodin. This this doesn't need to end in violence. Screw that. I have come I have come on behalf of the Scarlet Chorus to deliver the terms of surrender. I'm sure we can I'm sure we came to a mutually beneficial arrangement. I implore you to surrender and live. Or just enough talk. Hmm. If we could cons conscript this guy to the Scar Scarlet Chorus, that would be that would be quite fucking nice. But I don't think that he's gonna do that. So what was that about at this favorite suicide march? In the second year of the war, my personal forces captured one of Graven Ash's elite legions. We divided their numbers for our own protection. Some here, others at Duskwatch, with plans of bargaining with Ash for their lives. You preyed on the Archon's love for his troops, monster. The war came to a, came to a shall I say, Climactic stalemate when a disfavored force amassed around Sentinel Stand to drive us out and liberate our our prisoner. A thoughtful expression overcomes him, but he dispels it with a shake of his head. The rest, as you know, is history. Before the disfavored could finish their desperate attack, the edict swept up my people and Ashes Legion like they were made of straw, battering bones and iron into so much dust that now swirls about our heads. I remember that day too well. If you had but surrendered, then then hundreds of northerners and southerners alike would have been spared. Stalwart bows to no one. You are but the law of rust and entropy. Heraldin grimaces at Barrick and shakes his head. Your presence alone dirties these noble defenses. The voice of Nerad has no desire to end the edict, surrender and live. As if I would put my safety, or my people, into the hands of that creature. Herodin shakes his head. I know enough of his atrocities without without subjecting myself to them. He would no doubt torture me into a, into a, into a madless stupor, an echo of life for his enjoyment. I mean, that's just one option. Have you thought about any of the others? We have outlasted too much for empty promises to sway us now. Stalwart's finest will hold this fortress until Kairos withdraws. Conscription in, into the red-clad mob is not an option. Hmm. A true leader would have fought to the very end rather than hide here. Yeah, that sounds like my character, all right. Your doubt is understandable, but why should I have fought a losing battle? Stalwart's regents have always endured where others fell. In Sentinel Stand, I could outlast any enemy. And how could I have known that Kairos would be so... exciting in punishment? Hmm, okay, fair enough, I guess. Hmm. What have you gained from this lo long stalemate beyond the hatred of your people? Some of them even joined the Scarlet Chorus, just to kill you. He hesitates to answer at first, then screws his face into a grimace. The people do not know what, it, what is best for Stalwart. We need a strong leader who understands that... that the traditions of the realm, whose blood is part of that storied heritage. 
If they spied me for preserving our strength here and outlasting the war, so be it. I did not accept this mantle for adoration. What have I gained? I have kept Stalwart alive in this self-imposed prison, whatever else you might may think. The desperation to reach this place and end my life only confirms the rightnessness of that decision, as hard as it has been. Hmm. I have come on behalf of the Scarlet Corps to deliver the terms of surrender. Then it's to be a conscription and interrogation. Straight is not on sides. I suspect that Archon of Secrets would come uh, for me eventually. Typical that the attendants of Kairos present no agreeable terms. You may distort the histories to reflect that I've enforced this confrontation, but everyone here will remember that when your overlord locked me in an impossible choice, I chose Stalwart. Herodin turns away and heads through the uh, port portcullis. Well, that's the end of that, I guess. Send them. And then we just kill them. Okay, so... Okay, these guys are not attacking for some reason. <laughs> okay, fine by me. So we kill these guys real fast. Can I... No, I can't. Uh, At <laughs> once. Right. Okay. That's better. We'll just kill these guys here real quick. Different weapon. There's a sky plate, so it shouldn't take long to kill them. Oh wait, there's a one tank, but he's going down fast too. Consider it done. me hard. Attack, please. I'm on it. Nice. Did they drop anything? Nope. Let's go. Come and finish the last of them. Focus on that. And you... Arrow on the sky plate here. Buff everyone and we... Uh, trust this. Count on it. I got it. Uh... Verus, where are you going? <laughs> I think Just I misclicked or something. Fire arrow on that. Stun. <laughs> then pick that one. <laughs> Didn't didn't work. As you command. Negative fate. Yeah, I don't even need to do much here. Pity you won't enjoy this as much as I do. Pay attention, kids. You might learn something. There we go. Easy, Peter. We'll do. Now, before we. Before we try to find our way inside the keep, broken spear. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. Winch. This winch is padded and appears barely functional. It looks like it could break at any moment. Mm. Well, my, might as well use one of the broken spears we just picked up. Who knew that that, that that broken broken weapons like broken spears could be this useful? And we are in. Okay, that looks rather dangerous. Those guys with big axes kind of scare me. Okay, I'm gonna save real quick here at this point, just in case. And we are back. Okay, so before we yes. go there... I am a sheep! Okay. <laughs> Didn't notice them. Okay, so I'm a I'm at the front. Good. Stun that. And freeze your weapon. You have you have fire arrow on the sky plate here. I don't think that any of these characters can heal each other, so that's good. <laughs> good. And you go and attack the sky plate here. You focus on this guy, please. I'm here. on it. And we buff everyone's damage. Actually, come a bit closer. There. Drop hands and buff everyone's damage. As you come out. Uh huh. He, he got knocked down. That's fine. Kill me. Kill this, please. Get back here. 
Uh, kick this one. Stalwart prevails. Harsh words would cause more harm than this. Okay, these guys are, are a bit weaker than I expected. I'll take care of them. Okay, never mind. That actually hurt, and it was a cleave too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, this, this that one's about to die. You got it. Resolute blades. I think the resolute blades have a cleave. You got it. Uh, attack, the, attack the uh, axe wielder. Give him a seal just in case. Draw pants. Harsh words would cause more harm than this useless weapon. Mm. Uh, Sandra. Heal. And we need to give Barrick some more potions after this. Harsh words would oh, he has a self heal. Okay. Damn it. Couldn't kill him in time. Hmm. Kick again. Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. Heal. There we go. Then just this try a different weapon. An arrow straight to the face. From the record. Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. Come on, kill him already. Okay, so they have some healing uh, spells and stuff. They just didn't look like spellcaster types. Not that you need to be a spellcaster in order to Sorry, use spells, but still. Elixir of Might, okay. And then... You have... This. Hi. Oh, there's some more loot here. Over there. No one's up here. Okay. Can't do that. Cabin supplies. Nice. Okay. I I assume that we have to go here. So before we do that, let's beat this guys. There's only Cal three of them. Okay. Attack the uh, the tank guy. Found something. Mm -hmm. Special uh, hidden stash. Okay, okay, that hurts. That cleave is a is a monster. Uh, attack this one, please. This weapon is I want to kill this the tank guy first. Oh wait, who was? Hmm. Actually, oh, he doesn't even have an axe. I thought he has an axe for for some reason. Then where did the damage to verse come from? Ah, whatever. I yeah, just focus on that. And you draw pens. Good. One of them died. And Barrett, stop, stop having a seizure. Clicked. You got it. Get back here. There we go. Easy peasy. Now what do we have here? Another masterwork. Two-handed ring plate. Hmm. Plus one bronze ring on kill. Ah, oh, so we get basic so so the more we kill enemies, the more money we get. Okay, but that's interesting. This bronze plate e exhibits an unusual property. After dealing a killing blow, a single bronze ring tumbles to the ground under ring plate. Smiths have attempted and failed to replicate this strange art. They gave up over time, theorizing that there was no special property to reproduce, and the sword simply paid its wielder for services uh, rendered. Okay. More cool looking stuff. Light armor. 
I don't want to re reduce his uh, recovery though. But okay, so let's see. So we have two, one hand, two two-handed weapons for Beric. Hmm. It doesn't look, look doesn't look very special. Where's the other one? Titan's blade. I think I'm gonna take this just because it has plus two might, and getting just one bronze ring on every kill is not that is not that much. If it was one, what was it? Silver ring? Oh wait, ah, bronze. I thought that, I thought that bronze was the uh, was the least uh, was the least. Uh, uh, what's the word now? The least valuable one. Yeah, there we go. So I thought that bronze was the least valuable one, but no, it was copper. Okay. That might change change it. You know what? Okay, let's equip this. Just so, just so, just sort of, just so that we can get more money. What do we have here? Hmm, heavy armor. Hmm. Well, it does give us slightly I'm bit, carrying too much. slightly bit more armor, so I guess it's good because of that only. Uh, where did it go? Over here. There we go. Okay, nice. Yes. Now did I pick up the yes I did. And now these guys down here. Come, come for me. There we go. Uh, hmm. Stun that. I freeze your weapon. You use a burning arrow on that. And then you buff everyone. <laughs> and you attack this sky plate here. You attack this uh, resolute plate. Buff everyone's damage. You got Words will cause more yeah. 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 Let's kill this guy uh -huh. as fast as we can. Uh -huh. mm, that was nasty. Give me a mm, yeah, let's yeah, give me the uh, seal when you are when you're done lying around. Someone pierces his, his chest with a javelin apparently. But he's fine. Consider it done. And uh, burn our own. That's real quick. Oh, reverse, don't go there. Kill this one. There we go. Do we? Yes, we still have the seal. Okay. Attack this and. You at attack this guy, right? And uh, draw some pens. Wait, never mind. Do we still have the seal? Yes, we do. And it's just triggered. Nice. Give, give it again. Verse, where are you? Ah, there. Shame that we can't heal from there. Oh, can we? Actually, yes, we can. Oh, I healed myself. Well, never mind. We can also use this if we really need to. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it now. And you. That. I, will I should try something <laughs> Nice. And Barrack, come and help first. We stun this. Uh-huh. <laughs> I will aid you. Okay. Couple of more enemies to go. Damn thing. Although I just I just realized, so is Barrick have to be the one to land the killing blow before we can get the money? 
Let's see, so it's 66 bronze rings now. This is useless. I should try something else. Uh, heal Barrack. Actually, give him the seal. I'll take that. Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. I need to try a different weapon. Oh, come Pity, on. you won't enjoy this as much as I do. I need to try a different weapon. There we go. That cliff is so dangerous. So scary. Hurts so much. Okay, so did we, did we get the... Yes, we got a bronze ring. Okay, but... Um, yeah, bronze ring, not copper. I really, really want to see who killed the... Barrick annihilated. Okay, so it was Barrick who landed the killing blow. Hmm. Stalwart bronze sword. It deals slightly more damage and is more accurate than the weapon we are carrying right now. Hmm. This seems to be a bit better than Weeping Whispers that she's wearing right now, but but the gloves that that Verse is using right now is rather special, so I don't want to I don't want to get rid of them. Hmm. Would it be such a bad thing if I at least we at least Lancer would get a lot more defenses just for just for losing 0.2 second recovery time but then again he, he hasn't he hasn't really been in in trouble that many times like in this episode for example uh, let's I'm carrying let's too pick much them up anyway we'll think about this stuff later we'll do can't do that Massive spikes of stone flare out from ground, where a storm of unimaginable power ripped through the terrain. The weapons and armor of soldiers ripped from their bodies are now encased in the stone as silent effigies of Kairos' wrath. Mm -hmm. What's next? Oh! I really hate when the game does that. That the game just freezes like that when something is about to happen. I, I don't know why that happens. I don't know why that happens, but what I do know is that the Scarlet Chorus have now come in here. Let's go and help them out. <laughs> Trap detected. Where? Oh, there. Have a look here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, burning arrow on that. We stun this. I need to try a different way. Quickly before our allies die. Knock her to prone. Hi. See that? that entirely useless. Damn thing couldn't pierce claw. Okay, one dead. She's about to die. There we go. Bleed out, you little shit. We saved shit all three off. of them. Nice. The fuck is wrong with my weapon? Nothing. I'll tear your skull she... now, my ass. This ar army girl just got better defenses. Stop complaining about your weapon, Jesus. It's getting annoying. Okay, so before we go up there, let's loot everything. Crashing thunder can be created with access to a spire forts. Upgrade and Upgrade and proper materials. Oh, okay. It's, so we got a new plan thingy. Nice. Uh, let's go here real quick. Oh wait, could, could we have? Oh wait, never mind. I, I think I think the Scarlet Chorus uh, uh, horde uh, just made a wait here when they blew up this thing. I think that's what happened. No. Oh. Will do. What do we have here? Uh, potion I'm carrying potions too much. and crafting materials, that's fine. Sorry, I can't. Then down. Right. Then I'm carrying hmm. too much. Okay, yeah. Can be supplies, nice. Good to know that it's there. Iron ingots. 
and more unbroken. Hmm. This could become tough, but let's go. I'm confident. We can do it. We haven't we haven't been in real trouble uh, trouble yet, so this should this should not be too hard. In before my famous uh, last words. Okay, so focus on the sky plate here. You buff us. I will aid you. Okay, so they're focusing on me. That's good. Buff everyone's damage. You attack the sky plate here. Uh, fall speed. Yeah, do that. Varric, you focus on this guy here. You got it. Let's slow down again a little bit. Hmm. Attack the sky plate. I could do this now. And you under this one. You got it. You got Drop it. Down. Oh shit, they're going for Lantry. That's not good. Not good at all. Barrick, taunt. <laughs> Holy shit. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, use a... So. Yeah, use a potion. Then a seal on Barrick. Because Barrick is going to get hurt a lot very soon. Where am I? I'm there. Okay. Knock this one down. And you verse, just focus on this guy here. Uh, uh, Lantry, come here. Because you're getting hurt too. Self heal. I just use that. And we. Barrick is. Oh, wait, he's, he's not down. Okay, good. Use this again. Uh, trust. Consider it done. This one is about to die, so Verse can come and help us very soon. Drink this. Good. Verse. Uh, arrow on... Who's... Who's weakest? This one, I guess. You got it. Stun this one. They didn't work. Terrify them. Hit you twice. Hmm? That that one died. Oh, okay. <sighs> didn't expect him to die that fast. He was not a sky blade, was he? Oh, we're mm, I don't know. I don't know. Is that? Troll pants. Harsh words would cause more harm than this useless weapon. <laughs> Who could use a, a, a seal? I guess Barrick. This weapon is entirely worthless. Shit. Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. Okay, he got a seal. Good. But heal him still. That cliff is so. Shit. Uh, and by shit I mean fucking good. Very dangerous. I really want to kill this. You know what? Let's do just that. Hmm. Let's do this and... Kick this in the stomach. As you command. That never works for some reason. Maybe it's because I, I'm trying to kick the tanky guys with the highest armor and shit. Stun it at least. I need to try a different weapon. It's done. There we go. This guy is about to die, though. Hmm. Switch places with this. No, guys. My blood spills. There we go. That was a very cool kill. Then that. Only two more to go. Buff everyone's damage. And give first a seal. <laughs> Heal yourself. Grovel before me! Sandra. Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. 
Harsh work. Hmm. For the way. Consider it done. <laughs> Pay attention, kids. You might learn you something. Death? Oh, he's he's not doing very well. Well, even if he does get wounded, it doesn't matter. We can always rest. And that, and then there is that one campus supply. Was it here? Worm. The fuck is wrong with my <laughs> Yeah, he's down. If only he got that heal uh, er, a bit earlier. Bleed out, you little shit! You got it. There we go. Was that all of them? Yeah, that was all of them. Uh, yes. Outside here, anyway. There must. There's of, of course like a million more inside. Hmm. Staff of atrophy. I think you need to find mm, maybe, a younger slave. To maybe Siren could use it. Oh, what's this? Jewel of fortune. Lucky. Plus fifty. Plus 5% critical, uh, critical deflection and plus 5% hit precision. A pin such as this would have decorated the label of a stalwart noble hoping for a beneficial marriage. Since uh, Gaidi Jurli was associated with the desperate, the wearers would naturally grow numb to rejection. <laughs> okay, I think that this would be the best for Detritus. for uh, uh, verse. What do you have here? Plus 10 subterfuge and this quickness. Okay, let's give, give it to her. And quickness gives uh, recovery speed and shit, if I'm not mistaken. Control emotions. Let's give it to him. Okay, but before we go in there, I want to rest. Now, where's the camera supply? Oh, it was down Sorry, here. Sorry, I can't. It was down here. Okay. Yeah, so let's uh, have a quick rest. Good, and then we pick up the canvas supply. There we go. And into the keep we go. And we're in here, although, looks like the party had started without me. Let's just pick up all this shit. Oh hey, that's a... Uh, Matthias, oh yeah, now, now, now I remember him. So he's here now as well. And Ra Jack to Remedy as well. Regent, Jack Remedy tips his head to Stratus. I'm going to make this very simple for us both. You can join us in the Scarlet Chorus and create a prosperous future in the tears, or, well, there isn't a second option. See how easy it can be. Try not to complicate matters by thinking about it for too long. Persuasive as ever, the chorus tries to make these difficult decisions as easy as possible. My elite soldiers, absorbed in, into the voice of Nerad's slave army, he shuckles, but there's, there's a lining of unease to it. The Scarlet Chorus will never control Sentinel Stand. This is the House of Regents. Not the quatin den of your verminous gangs. The gang boss edges closer to Herodin. We don't have to kill each other, Regent. The voice of Nerad has a number of offers on the table, and many of them end with you enjoying a long life. He smiles. Or some semblance of life. I came here to kill the Regent, not to conscript them. Matthias growls and looks at an jacked remedy. You lied to me. I did no such thing. The Voices needs the Edict to stand a while longer. Your revenge can wait until our war with the Disfavored is finished. The Regent holds his weapon firm, but Jack Remedy's words leave him troubled. Stay back, I tell you. The Voices will have to seek his amusement elsewhere. I refuse to become a servant of Kairos. And haven't you served Kairos by keeping this Edict alive, Regent? Remedy laughs quietly to himself. As much as I would take pleasure in killing you, please remember that I'm here to offer you alternatives. I will claim Sentinel Stand for the Scarlet Chorus. You have only you have only one way out. Submit to the voice of Nerad. 
Mm. I don't. I don't want to sound like. I don't want, really want to sound like Voice of Nerad's lap dog, so that's why I would, I would prefer this option here. Last chance, traders. Surrender Amelia, and we might show mercy. Hmm. I like this one too. And I bet. For, and I bet that if I say this, that I will claim Sentinel stand for the Scarlet Chorus, then Jack Remedy doesn't really like that because we are kind of taking the honor, the honor of that. You know what I mean? Hmm. Well, last chance, traders. Surrender Amelia and we might show mercy. Loyalty with Barrack. Oh, Barrack is so not gonna like what we're about to do to her. He trades a glance with his soldiers and nods full of de determination. I would not subject my worst enemy to the mercy you offer. None of us will, will be coming quietly. This is my seat of power, and I, and I will not hand it over to the likes of Upstart brigands. You understand nothing of power, Regent. These stones belong to those with the strength to keep them. Right now, that isn't you. Remember, we want him alive. He snaps forward and attacks. <laughs> okay. So, let's let's kill all his goons. And we're not we're not going to kill Stratus Herodin, just like we didn't kill what was her name? She was the leader of the Vendrian Guard in the first act, so, so, so we did, so we didn't kill her in battle. So we're not gonna do do that to the Stratos Heroin either, but, or at least so I think. But anyway, you go and focus on that. You attack this one and burn an arrow on that. Okay, come here. Hmm. Attack this one here, I guess, and you buff everyone. This weapon is entirely And already complain about weapons. Throw uh pants at that. Knock this one back. <laughs> Actually I uh, give give everyone bonus damage. This one is about to die, actually. I will age you. Why are you using your one-handed weapons? I guess the enemy did something. Can't I hit anything? There. Uh, he needs a seal, though. Consider I can try uh, verse, where you are, you are there. Okay, that's not very good. Oh, he, he's focusing on me. That's good. Mm. Oh, Jedus Heroin is not lasting very long against both Jack Remedy and Matthias. Okay. You got. Okay, let me pass. There we go. Damn thing couldn't pierce cloth. And verse got a level. Nice. This one is about to die. For me. Mm. Yeah, they should die very, very soon. But heal her just in case. God damn it! This fucking sky Uh Oh shit! 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 Drink. And do that. Not a problem, boss. Bleed out, you little shit! Uh, Barrick, did you just cast... Did you just cast this spell on... On, uh, Verse? I need to try it. Yes, you did. Well, okay. Okay. Hmm. Stun this, and... Actually, I can I can just drink a potion. You give Barrick a seal. Then he'll verse, and you keep stabbing that spy blade. For me. Yeah, this was very easy. Also thanks. Also thanks to Jack Remedy and Matthias. They were quite badass. Defeat the living shit out of Stratos Herodin. 
The ringed lies on the ground, bloodied and defeated. He extends his good arm and drops his weapon. If only I had the breath to spend, spend defying you. But I fear the fight has left me. Stratus, I am not above tracking you mangled and sh shrieking back to Cacophony. If you think this is finished, you quite mistake the matter. You filth! Matthias grimaces at Stratus. Don't expect sympathy after what you have done. It wasn't enough to keep the edict alive. You fought us to protect it. Stalwart is finished with your miserable reign, and will be stronger without you. Remember your loyalties, Matthias. Amelia, and there she is. Wait, was she here all this time? I kind of missed, missed her completely. One of Stratus' soldiers moved between you and Herodin, tearing off her helmet. Oh, okay, so we, didn't, we couldn't recognize her. I won't let you do this. A gasp echoes in the sh in shadows of Barrick's helmet. Amelia, alive! But you come to the regent's defense. What is the meaning of this? Explain yourself, girl. Some of us could use an explanation. What is the meaning of this? I have come, come to take you away from Sentinel Stand. Yeah, what is the meaning of this? Before you get sanctimonious about why I'm here, take a good hard look what you have done. Well, I'm quite sure that we know what we have done. We killed all of them except the regent. She takes a concerned inventor inventory of Stratus' injuries. Injuries. I'm not the northern warlord I once was. She winces at the very thought. Sitting out the conflict made me see this conquest from a different perspective. She looks to you with a plea in her eyes. We were wrong. Kairos led us from the right path centuries ago. We marched south to finish the overlord's work, but... She squeezes her eyes shut. Don't you see that the tears are the last chance for us to make this right? You took your sweet time coming to your senses. The unbroken could have used a sympathetic defector. But that dream is all but shattered now. I should kill you for fighting with the regent, but the Scarlet Chorus has other plans. You were a prisoner? What happened? While you're fighting for Stalwart? The regent is beating, the keep is ours. Will you cooperate? Fighting for the regent is treason? I don't care I don't care whose daughter you are. If you all stand with the regent, then you will share his fate. Starward's time has passed. The voice of Nerad offers you a new path. So you were a prisoner. What happened? This is no time for a story, she declares. Not while we have our blades pointed at each other. If any of you if any of us survives this, which I suspect isn't likely, I'll tell you everything. But right now you need to stand down and back away from the regent. Okay, so, so he's not in the mood to mood for stories. Hmm. The regent is speeding. The keep is ours. Will you cooperate? Never. I know what atrocities you and the rest of Tunon's ilk are capable of visiting upon us. I know what my father does to traitors and deserters. My father... Her voice catches and it takes a moment to find her words. I love my father, but it's nothing compared to the love I felt for the father of... Amelia, please, be silent. Stratus looks to her with desperation. It's over, you understand? I'm dying. Save your strength for... more important things. He turns to you with a look of apprehension. Your master didn't send you to resolve the edict. Yet, yet I lie stricken before you. Whatever strength I possess, I will use it to stop you from taking Amelia or my people. They deserve more than I could ever give them, and better than what dark fate the, voice, the voices promises. Too bad my orders didn't specify mercy. You might have been useful alive, but there is no help in that now. Prepare yourself. Amelia, you come in with me to the voices of Nerat. Yeah, that's why we are here. The voices, his skin turns a deathly pallor. Amelia, you make your own choices, but no. Don't let the fate bundle lead you into the maw of that ravening beast. Before you can take action, you catch Amelia begin to raise a weapon from the corner of your eye. Amelia, stop! Stratus win winces, hardly possessing the energy to argue. You have to keep your promise, remember? The focused, determined air about Amelia falls to, re to resignation. She delivers a court nod and leaves the room. 
starting you a killing look on her way out. Emily disappears into another room, unwilling to watch what you're about to unfold. The gang boss looks at Stratus with a lingering, lingering frown. I can just tell that this one isn't going to come peacefully. Judging from blood loss alone, he won't survive being carried out of this fortress. He signs. The voices will be disappointed, but it couldn't be avoided. He glanced at, at his newest conscript. Should we offer Brown Button here the honor of dispatching the last regent? Ah, oh, Brown Button. It looks to me as if he's champing at the bit for the opportunity. I would like nothing better than to ram a spike through Herodine's traitorous heart. I promise the, vo I promise the vo voice is a, re a life regent, we are taking him. But he's not gonna survive. I will execute Herodine myself. Matthias, take the vengeance you were denied. Kill the regent. Yeah, and besides, I think we made the, prom I think we made the promise to Matthias that, that he can get his revenge, so... Uh, so le let's do just that. Voices get a bit, get a bit mad. Screw him, what do I care? Matthias, so Matthias, take the vengeance you were denied. Kill the regent. We gained, gained favor with the unbroken. Matthias steps forward and buries his axe in the regent's chest. Stratus collapses instantly, a final gasp escaping his lips. <sighs> Stratus' body falls to the ground, and you watch the blood pool on, uh, onto the floor in silence. There is a feeling of anticipation in the air, but as the seconds pass, it never materializes into anything. The surge of arcane energy and sense of relief you experience in Ascension Hall is missing. You hear the howl of the storm outside and realize that the edict endures. Curious, I understood that the edict of storms would abate when the last of the regents died. He glances your way. Could we have been mistaken? From across the hall, you hear a faint cry, a baby's cry, and realization dawns on you. He was not the last regent. Before we do anything else, let's pick this... Holy crap. Fateful promise. Convince Amelia to meet with Nerad. Yeah, just a moment. And he, and he was also an alcoholic too, by the looks of it. Okay, so... Fateful promise. Master, masterwork shield. How many masterful uh, pieces of um, gear and weapon we have uh, found in this episode? Five, including this one. Anyway, this shield was carried across three generations of stalwart regions and was primarily associated with their war finery. Faithful Promise commemorates the vow made by Regent Hartron to never allow stalwart to fall into enemy hands. Okay, but... How much better? Hmm. Oh, it's a factor of better. We lose a little bit of recovery, but nah, that's okay. We never really care for that with this character anyway. We get parry, dodge, and endurance. Fuck yes, we are gonna take that. Of course, we are gonna pick that and use it. So you take that. Nice. And I guess we could give this to you. Let's see. How much better is it? Yeah, I think I think he benefits more from parry than dodge. And what else we got here? And the same unbroken gauntlets. Well, not quite the same, but hmm. Okay. I'm carrying too much. Blocking the doorway, Amelia regards you with eyes that bring with tears, yet plays with hints of her father's grim resolve. She has armored herself in this favored raiment to face you down. Stay away from my daughter. You will not have her. Oh no. Oh, by the Archon's mercy. Don't let this be so. Barry co covers his face and howls softly. Your daughter is the regent's heir? How is this possible? Well, how should I explain this, Perhana? When a woman and a man love each other very, very much, and... Yeah, I'm not gonna go there. Well, it's simple, they fucked. Did you know this would prolong the edict? 
So your daughter is a regent, regent heir. Now that, now that you have killed Stratus Herodin, she is. Amelia draws herself up and glares at you. She has nothing to do with Kairos or the Edict. You have no right to judge her on the basis of blood. Look who is talking. I've been a dis... Well, being a form of disfavor and everything, but... Uh, okay. Did you know this would prolong the Edict? We suspected that the bloodline would implicate my baby in Kairos' eyes, but I knew nothing for certain until this moment. She shakes her head. Don't ask me to interpret the Overlord's heartless design. I have no love for this edict, if that's what you're asking. It's torn a noble realm to pieces, fractured the pillar of their culture, and ruined countless lives. She releases a heavy sigh and hardens her intense gaze. But I have a responsibility to the people of Stalwart to preserve their heritage and leadership. My father and the other Archons destroyed this nation. She and I... Amelia glances back at the grip, then quickly focuses back on you. We can help put it together. What a curious development this has become. Jack Remedy taps his chin in thought. Your aspirations are folly, of course, but, the, but there may be an alternative solution waiting in the wings. Hmm, so we didn't need to keep Her Herodus alive. The edict is still go going, just like the voice of Nerad wanted. Well, since we have no other uh, option here, might as well ask this stupid question. How is this possible? Do you need me... Do you need me to draw it out for you? Because there are a few ways it can happen, and people get confused about these things. First, oh, verse, you're gonna start the same thing too, as I was about to, aren't you? Verse lifts her leg above her head, but but you cut her off with a gesture. My, my union, my union with Stratus. My, my union with Stratus, the younger, even in. Even in remembrance, Amelia doesn't shed her warlike resolve. He showed me kindness behind these walls and taught me about stalwart and the tears, the culture and heritage that made these people the pride of the realm. He died in the third year of the conquest. At his favorite spear pinned him to the ground, he fought to defend, and he never rose again. The regent remained in sentinel stand for her protection. The edict was his responsibility to shoulder, not hers. She tips her head down in challenge. My daughter will not be another victim of Kairos' conquest. She has she has the blood of the North coursing through her veins, and no one has the right to take her life. Don't make this difficult, Amelia. The Voices appreciates challenging Bray, but I don't. There is no need for bloodshed. The Voice of Nerad offers you his hospitality. Hmm. I really wish that we can... Convince Amelia to come with to come with come with us to the voice of Nerath, and we can also spare the life life of the child. Because in my first playthrough, I sided with the disfavored. I decided to kill the child. Well, and then and then we killed Amelia too because she wouldn't allow us to do that. So we had to put them both down. Craven Ash, of course, was not happy at all. But eventually, uh, but eventually he, he he understood that I did what I what I had, and then and and then he. For, Basically forgave me and all that stuff. But I hope that we can do it, do this differently this time. And spare both of their lives. So there is no need for bloodshed. The voice of Nerad offers you his hospitality. You know, I see this, I see this as an opportunity in disguise. Ash will never take Amelia back or recognize his granddaughter. He shrugs. We don't even want the edict dispelled. Ash and his forces are weakened in their own territory. He passes you a knowing look. Amelia, it would be my honor to invite you to the care of the Scarlet Chorus. Asylum, if you will. The voice of Nerad would be more than happy to ensure your child's safety. She glares at Jack Remedy. Do you think me a simpleton? I know that I know that the voices is a monster. A void of lies and empty promises that somehow assumed form, and yet... She turns to you, full of apprehension. Can you guarantee my daughter's safety? I'm not looking for your law speech or some practice declaration of your honor. Just just tell it to me straight. So there's a lie option. You and your daughter will be safe with the voice of Nerat. I can't make any guarantees. You are taking a chance either way. Do you see a better alternative before you? Hmm. I don't really want to lie. 
not for Voice of Nerad, but I do want to, I really want to, uh, I really want to spare them both. Hmm, shit, I should have saved before this. Hmm. Do you see a better alternative before you? I can I can al always reload reload because I really really want to uh, uh, spare these two. I don't want to lie either. Do you see a better alternative before you? I mean, can't we really guarantee the safety of uh, of Amelia and and her daughter uh, as a fate binder? Apparently not. Well, do you see a better alternative before you? Besides running this blade through your heart, I'm no pushover. I warn you. For a second, it looks like she's about to launch, but she has stops herself. Amelia looks among the assembled enemies in the Hall of Regents. Taking a breath, she closes her eyes and thinks aloud. I don't have any illusions about my odds, but how can I leave my daughter's life to chance? Hmm. It's a chance for a better life than she would have here. Accept it. Well, at least this is not a lie. At least the game is not saying that it's a lie. Can you think of a single reason why you would die now rather than choose life? We could attack her if she's been distracted. Life is an illusion. Let me let me pull back the curtain. Well, that's very poetic. To, po poetic way to say it, but we're not going to do that. Hmm. It's a chance for a better life than she would have here. Accept it. She studies you for a moment, and some of the tension leaves her shoulders. Very well. There is an honest air about you, and I suppose there would, and I suppose there would be if you worked for the voices. But she glances to the body of Stratus, Herodin, and shudders. I haven't, I haven't anyone else in the world to trust, do I? Not really, no. Unless Ash is very, unless Ash is very forgiving, which he is not. Favor with rather the disfavor than favor with the voice of Nerat. Amelia walks to the nearby creep and gently lifts her daughter, grattling her clothes. Jack Remedy helpfully gestures toward the door, ushering her out. I would call this our best cha best change of fortune since the war began. Not only do we possess the key to the Edict of Storms, but Graven Ash and any loyalists to the fallen regions will think twice before launching an, um, launching an attack at a cacophony. He clucks his tongue on the roof of his mouth and nods to you. A fair day's work. The Bladegraf region is now controlled by Scarlet Chorus. Nice. To have this victory at Ash's very doorstep. He curls his fingers into a fist and breathes through his teeth. I'll remain here and send word of your success to the Archon. And favor with the voice of Nerad. This is not the fate I envisioned for my country, but with Stratus gone, he signs. There's hope. I suppose there's hope. I'll report to the voices, as sickening as I find the idea. I suppose I'm his now. And these two got a level. And Barak didn't say any and did, didn't say anything when 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 I when I told Amelia to go to the voice of Narad. On it. I, I I expect I expected him to to act, to act, to actually to say something about it. What do we have ah, here? Got it. Just a pearl. This grip has been meticulously cleaned, while other objects in the hall have traces of dust and metallic powder on them. None of it is found here. Anything else before we leave, Remedy? This edict has not ended. We are fortunate. Indeed we are. The regent has always ruled from this throne, and it and it, and, and it doesn't really look that impressive, really. Uh, the regent has always ruled from this throne in Stalwart for the last 500 years, an unbroken plotline that has survived through numerous generations. Okay, okay. So, now I'm gonna end the episode soon. But first, let's give these guys the points. L Barak has actually has actually got two levels in this uh, in this episode, I think. Damn. Why is he leveling up so fast? He's leaving me behind. I'm level. Where can I see the level again?
I'm level 15, I think. Oh, there it is. 15, and he's now 17. Hmm. More health, or let's just give him more accuracy. Oh, hmm. Let's actually make, make him a bit tankier. As for you, my dear. Hmm. Let's make you deadlier. Then talents. Let's see. While using Furious Rush. Ah, uh, it's this. Quick, moves quick, quickly about the battlefield. Uh, while using Furious Rush, Verse will now passively attack nearby enemies as she moves. Verse loses the benefits of this ability if she wears any heavy armor. Okay. Mocking Iron. Ah, uh, this is a taunt. Blood calls to blood. Delay critical hit. Hits damage enemies near their target. Verse gains bonus grace precision and grace deflection. Well, let's pick that. And as for you... Hmm. Hmm. I wonder how this last stand works. I mean, so, so once per encounter, when Barrick would be defeated, he delays his unconsciousness for a short time, which is 8 seconds. So I wonder... Can we still heal him and save him during that 8 seconds? Because if that's the case, that would be nice. Well, let's find out, I guess. And here, speak with the Nerad. With Sentinel stand now under Corus control, return to Cacophony and discuss your next move with the voice of Nerad. Okay. I'm not gonna talk to him in this episode, but I think I'm gonna go to Cacophony. Set fast insignia. Well, okay, these are the... Weapons, fine. I don't know why this is highlighted, but whatever. Uh -huh. Okay, is there anything new outside? Oh, a random blood gender. The kip will be ship uh, chip shape once it once it's had some work done. Hmm, some work. Okay. Okay, so now this is Scarlet Coral's Cape. Nice. You should check with the voice of Nerad. I'll stay behind and see after the repairs on Sentinel Stand. You guys can actually fix anything? I'm impressed. Can't oh. do that. Hmm, just wondering if there's any... No, there's no new loot or anything. Okay. Okie dokie. Can't do that. So, let's leave then. So let's go to Cacophony. Or should I just... And you know what, I'm just gonna end the episode here. Just gonna gather my guys, like, here somewhere. Okay, nice. So we so we have secured the Sentinel Stand Keep for the Scarlet Chorus, killed Stra Strader's Herodin, and secured Amelia and her daughter safely to the Voice of Nerat in Cacophony. Nice. Very nice. Very nice development. So in the next episode, we are gonna go... Let's take out, take out the map. So in the next episode, we are gonna go back to Cacophony and report back to the voice of Nerat, and then we'll and and then we'll discuss what to do next. The entire map is, well, almost entire map is is painted in red. The uh, the disfavored have no, uh, they simply have no territory of their own at all, and this ter and this haven territory is is still controlled by the Bronze Brotherhood. But I, but I think that we'll, that at some point we'll go back to, uh, what was this called again? This place. That, that well, the Sunset Spire. But what was the town? Uh, it was, what was it? Uh, God damn it! I just, what the hell was the name of the town settlement here? Lethian's Crossing. Yeah, that. So maybe at some point we'll go to Lethian's Crossing and deal with the Bronze Brotherhood and whatever and whatever problems is uh, is going on in that settlement. But I I don't know. But at least in the next episode we go to Cacophony and chat with the voice of Nerat and see what we'll do from there. So that's my plan for the next episode. So until then, thank you for watching once again and see you next time for more tyranny.